and we are back welcome back to the channel dudes my name is lagging and today i'm going to show you how you can open up pack a punch in the brand new map dead of the night if you're going to enjoy this video make sure that you hit the subscribe button with notification bell turn on and drop a like so without further ado let's get into the video so the first thing you want to do is go get the sentinel artifact it's directly across from spawn you're gonna to have to open up a couple of doors once you get the sentinel artifact this is going to open up some areas on the map that otherwise you wouldn't be able to open and i'm doing this in custom mutations so i'm not buying a lot of doors or any as a matter of fact so that's something that you're going to have to consider when you're playing you're going to have to build points and stuff like that so first step grab the artifact okay so we're looking for three crystals that are around the map they're hidden in vases we'll call this one crystal number one make your way over to the bedroom hallway and the master bedroom you can look in the top left corner of the screen to see where i'm at on the map so hopefully that'll help and you'll see the three vase locations right here in this video so you can go up to them and knife all three of them if you want to but you can actually tell which one has the crystal in it because there is a faint glow at the top so go ahead and knife that one and we'll call this one crystal number one all three locations we're going to move on to crystal number two then three and then i'll tell you what to do with the crystals after that okay make your way into the study and in between two chairs on a coffee table you'll see a vase that is a possible location for crystal number Number two if it's not there just head down the stairs into the library and you're gonna see on top of a desk another potential spot where you can find the crystal and if it's not there also in the library there is a table with a record player on it go ahead that should be it if the other two weren't and that is crystal number two all three locations okay so for this final crystal there's only two locations for it and they both can be found down in the wine cellar so head down to the wine cellar and on top of a little stand you'll see a vase go ahead and knife that one there's your crystal in this situation if it's not there it's by a big barrel full of i'm assuming wine and you can go ahead and knife that one and that would be the second location there's only two locations so that is all three crystals total of eight locations so the crystals are soul boxes and all you have to do is kill four zombies in close proximity and then you can interact with the crystal and gaze into it once you look into the crystal you're going to see a vision it's an item on the map that you have to find so in this situation there is a noose we have to find the noose is located down in the wine cellar on the back of a chair once you interact with the noose it's going to spawn in a ghost and you have to follow the ghost now here's the cool thing about the ghost is she will stop and wait for you so if you are overwhelmed by zombies just go ahead and stop deal with the zombies the ghost will also stop and then you can catch back up to the ghost and continue on once you have one or two zombies left you follow the ghost until she reveals to you a hidden spot on the map where she's going to show you a tuning fork you need to pick up that tuning fork and you'll be collecting three of these so that is one out of three so on to the next crystal and once again you're going to get four souls in there and then you're going to interact with it you're be shown a vision in this case for me it was clock and so with the clock there are three locations on the map where there's these clocks and only one of them you're going to be able to interact with so if you go to the main hall uh there's one clock there and that's the one where i'm going to interact with but i want to show you the other two locations before we actually do this so the next one's inside the dining hall right up against the wall there and the third and final clock can be located in the billiard room just on the wall there and like i said only one of them you're going to be able to interact with so it's good to know all three locations also keep in mind guys these might not be the challenges you get but i am going to go through all of the challenges in this video so just hold tight so once you activate the clock the clock face itself is going to be on the ground you need to stand in the center of that just stay in the circle and fend off zombies and what's going to happen is it's basically a timer you'll see a puff of white smoke going around the clock and once it goes all the way around the clock you have completed this and the grandfather clock will then reveal a tuning fork for you so just go ahead and pick that up that'll be number two okay on to the last crystal four souls go in and go ahead and activate it gaze upon it and you will see in this one it's an actual perk statue so pretty interesting on this map the perk locations change every game so the raw statue is what we've got to find but the raw statue might not be where it was the last game you played so it's good to know all of the locations that the perk machines can spawn in so i'm going to go ahead and show you that now so you could get a perk statue right out the front door of the mansion right in this location uh right behind where you got the sentinel artifact is the danu statue and it seems like the danu statue will always be there so out in the greenhouse slash terrace area you're going to see another perk statue out here 
Also down in the wine cellar is another perk statue. And so finally, the last location is in the cemetery. This happens to be the one we're looking for. So we're gonna do our quest now and we're gonna have some vampire bats flying in, which is really cool. So they fly in like bats, transform into vampires and you have to kill them. They do take a couple more shots than a normal zombie does. And uh, once you kill them all, they will drop a tuning fork for you. And that is all three of them. So like I said, these might not be the quests you guys get. There are a couple of more. So if you get in one of your visions, a doll, the location for the doll is right behind the Sentinel artifact in that dining room area where the statue of Danu is at. Go up and click the doll. It will spawn in a ghost. And all you have to do is follow the ghost and the ghost will reveal a tuning fork for you. You can also get a couple of paintings of faces, and if that's the case, you have to go around the mansion and look for paintings. There are three that you can activate to start these uh, quests, and one of them is inside of the music room right here. The next one can be located in the east gallery right here on the wall. And the third and final one can be located in the tea room right here on the wall. And that'll take care of any faces that you see. Just go click on those. Once you click on the painting, then a ghost will come out. You follow it. It will reveal a hidden tuning fork for you. And finally, if you get a scroll, it looks like a piece of rolled up paper. That's going to be located in the study, which is just above the library, located on this shelf in a box. Go ahead and hit that. It'll open. And guess what happens? A ghost will spawn, you will follow it, and you will get yourself another tuning fork. So now that you have all three tuning forks, go out of the front of the manor, and you will see a gate that is being blocked by some corruption stuff. Just go ahead and interact with it. Your tuning forks will break it apart, and you can now enter the forest, but be warned, there is a giant werewolf. You're gonna have to kill that thing, and it takes a lot of bullets. There are some other ways you can kill it. There'll be some other videos on that, but for now, just pump it full of lead till it's dead and then head all the way to the back of the forest where you are gonna find Pack-A-Punch. There you go, it's that easy. You can now Pack-A-Punch your guns, get camo, double Pack-A-Punch, all that cool stuff. And that's it, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. I will have a playlist down below of my first playthrough and a bunch of other tutorials coming out as the day goes along. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like on it. As always, it's been your boy Lagging24, and I will see you uh, next time.